Now, let's talk about measure of central tendency for ungrouped data. So measure of central tendency is a value that represents a typical or central entry of a data set. So the most commonly used measure of central tendency are the mean, the median, and the mode. So when we say mean, it is the sum of the data entries divided by the number of entries. So the formula for the mean is for the population mean, that is mu is equal to the summation of x over n. So n is the number of population. Now the sample mean, that is x bar equals to the summation of x over n, where n is the number of samples. So suppose we have this example number one. The weights in pounds for a sample of adults before starting a weight loss study are listed. What is the mean weight of the adults? Okay, so the formula for the mean again, that is x bar, is equal to the summation of x over n. So again, n is the number of samples. So the number of samples here is 7. So all we need to do is to add these 7 data entries divided by 7. So that is 274 plus 235 plus 223 plus 268, plus 290, plus 285, plus 235, divided by 7. So just add this, we have 1,810 divided by 7. So 1,810 1, divided by 7 is equal to 258.57. So the mean, so the mean weight of adults is 258.57. Now, when you say median, it is the value that lies in the middle of the data when the data set is ordered. So we can order this in either ascending or descending order. So let us find the median of this example number one. So all we need to do is to arrange this. So I arrange this in ascending order. So let us find the median value. So the middle value is 268. So therefore, that is the median. So the median, of example number one is 268. So how about in this example? The prices in pesos of a sample of digital photo frames are listed. Find the median price of the digital photo frames. So let's arrange this again in ascending order. Now let us find the middle value. So the middle values here are 70 and 80. So all we need to do is to find the mean of the two middle values. So that is 70 plus 80 divided by 2. So 70 plus 80 is 150 divided by 2. Therefore, the median is 75. Next is the mode. So mode is the most frequently observed value. So let us find the mode of the example number 1. So the most frequently appearing value here is 235. It appears twice. The rest only appears once. So therefore, the mode is 235. 35. Thank you.